Officers encounter a lot while on patrol, from mundane disputes between friends to serious crimes committed by vicious felons. Still, the men and women in blue have a duty to respond to every issue, and this means they sometimes stumble upon something a bit out of the ordinary. Not far from the southeastern Spanish city of El Gorfa, some officers responded to a call about an animal tied to a tree. His head was lowered towards the ground, and no matter how hard they tried, they couldn't get the poor thing to look at them. They called a nearby shelter to help, and what they discovered horrified them all. In late September 2017, Spain's Easy Care Horse Rescue Center ECHRC, received a phone call from the local Almorati police. Authorities were concerned about an abandoned horse in El Gorfa, a small city on the country's southeastern coast. Rescuers arrived shortly after to find the animal in worse shape than they expected. He'd been tied to a tree and left without a lick of food or a drop of water for who knows how long. But that wasn't even the worst of it. Upon closer inspection, rescuers spotted many signs of neglect. The pony's ribs protruded from his sides, his back legs weren't moving properly, and he was severely dehydrated. Strangest of all, he wouldn't look at them. He refused to take his head out of a bush. This animal had obviously faced a great deal of stress and abuse, so wouldn't he be curious to see if someone had come to his rescue? That was when authorities realized exactly why wouldn't move. Flies swarmed the area, and with two seemingly infected eyes, the horse's face had been a prime target for the pests. It seemed he'd been keeping his head in the bush so that the bugs couldn't land on his face and torture him. This just broke his rescuers' hearts. ECHRC wrote on its Facebook page that whoever abandoned the horse likely just tied him to a tree and left him. He has survived starvation, dehydration, standing out in the full sun, everything. He deserves everything in the world that we can give him and more. But would it even be possible to give this horse a normal life? Rescuers determined he was 20 years old, no spring pony, and it was obvious that he could hardly walk in a straight line. Rescuers assessed his injuries once he was back at the shelter. Both eyes were infected, but the left was so badly injured that it was likely blind. With such a long list of problems, the poor horse had a long road ahead of him. Still, the rescue team wouldn't give up. EHCRC's rescuers put the horse in a stable where he chowed down, probably thinking he's gone to heaven. Veterinarian Dr. Dorothea Dudley von Dewitz didn't have good news, however, the pony's injuries were worse than they'd thought. The doctor armed herself with an X-ray machine and pointed it right at the horse's back. That's when she spotted a previously unseen injury with a horrifying origin. This it would seem, was the true reason he hadn't looked his rescuers in the eyes. At some point in the horse's bleak past, he'd suffered a blow that broke two vertebrae in his neck. The poor guy couldn't lift his head even if he'd wanted to, not with the condition his neck was in. The neck injury also explained the horse's strange gait and, potentially, the damage to his eyes as well. Soon. The horse's backstory crystallized. Most likely, he'd been struck, handicapped, and then abandoned. Thankfully, the ECHRC team was committed to making the horse feel welcome and loved. He is a special needs pony, ECHRC wrote on Facebook, but the good news is his condition shouldn't deteriorate any further now that he has proper care. Along with a wealth of medical procedures, rescuers at ECHRC provided the horse with everything he needed, food, water, and love. Within days of his rescue, he was actually able to lift his head to nuzzle his saviors. Still, something was missing. 
After all the horse had been through, he needed a name. The center mulled over possible monikers and received plenty of input from its Facebook fans. Names that celebrated his courage and coloring, like Trooper and Coco, were suggested. But ECHRC had a better idea. After a few days, ECHRC finally settled on a name, Fudge. It was a tough choice, the rescuers wrote on Facebook, but we felt Fudge suited this little fellow perfectly. What better name for a sweet, brown horse? Now, Fudge could officially leave his old life behind. As of October 2017, one month after Fudge was first found, he'd made great progress towards recovery. He's gaining weight. He's certainly a lot stronger and much more lively, the rescuer said. He gets about much better now than he did. Unfortunately, Fudge won't get to enjoy a home on the range. It is highly unlikely Fudge will ever leave the rescue center, ECHRC founder, Sue Weeding, said. But that wasn't a problem, since Sue and her team couldn't get enough of their little horse. We believe that when you love an animal, you fight to save it, ECHRC wrote on its website. They may be old crocs and broken down and disabled, or whatever, but for the abuse they've suffered and survived, they deserve a second chance. Fudge, of course, was no exception. Fudge had one hoof in the grave when rescuers found him tied to a tree without food or water. But thanks to a lot of hard work and passion, this beautiful horse gets a second chance to live a great life.